What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to be building a day bed um, with a twin size mattress um, out of some very inexpensive lumber, but I'm going to make it nice uh, to appeal to my wife. It's going to have some storage underneath uh, for some uh, baskets and uh, also it's going to um, you know, have some trim on it and it's going to look pretty nice. Okay, one of the goals for this build is to um, minimize waste, uh, keep materials cost low. So what I've done is I've cut out four of these pieces out of just uh, number two, two by fours, uh, eight, eight foot sections. So uh, I've got four of these 74 foot or 74 inch uh, pieces here. And then I've used, I'm gonna make use of these 18 and a half inch pieces that are left over um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put them into a frame like this so that here's the 18 and a half inch piece and then we've got a 74 foot piece 74 inch piece good grief um, and that's going to make the sides of the bed and so basically you just need some two and a half inch screws um, you probably will need to use a 90 degree clamp like this to make the, the corners as nice and neat as you can. <coughs> Let's see. It's hard to do with one hand. Anyway, that's uh, that helps immensely so you can hold this in place while you you drill uh, or you screw down uh, some screws. Once again, those are two and a half inch screws so it can really make a nice connection. So. Okay, so now we've got the side pieces for the bed, and uh, now we need to cut um, the cross pieces. And we're going to need one, two, three, four, and then I'd like to have like six left over for the middle. So we're actually going to cut these out of two by threes just because they're cheaper and they're plenty strong enough for this particular use. So. We're gonna cut out 10 pieces of by 31 inches long. Okay, next we need to cut a piece of half inch plywood um, to be the, the bottom base here. And so I've got it um, over here to kind of mocking it up and double checking my measurements, but it's gonna be 71 inches long by 38 inches wide. And uh, so I've already cut it. Um, Widthwise, and I'm going to rip it lengthwise. Okay, before we attach the plywood uh, to the bottom here, I'm going to use these these first two supports that are going to go across the bottom here, like that. But um, there's not really a, a good way to attach these like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Craig jig um, and drill angled holes through the edge here so that I can, uh, they're called pocket holes, but <clears throat> so that I can get into this with a really firm snug connection. Okay, here's what they look like when they're done. So basically now you can screw through this hole at an angle into the wood without, uh, you know, any kind of other tricks. Um, so this is a really nifty tool. If you don't have one, you should pick one up. They're about $30 for this kit. All right, so now we've got um, these side pieces connected. Uh, I'm gonna take a countersink bit um, and drill down into these and put uh, inch and a quarter screws in here to hold the plywood down. Now, the reason I'm countersinking it is because um, this, I ha may have to put wood filler over top of it to make a smooth, flush surface because this part will be visible in the end product. So after, here's what a screw looks like after it's you've cut a countersunk hole and then screwed in. It's um, that's actually maybe even a little too deep, but then you'll be able to put wood filler over top and make it look like it doesn't have anything in it. Okay, next we need to do the top cross braces. And once again, you're going to have to use a pocket hole jig, a Craig jig, to uh, to bore the holes. I wanted to show you, this is all that's wasted out of a 2x3. Uh, you can get three 31 inch p 
pieces out of it and this is all that's that's wasted so that's pretty efficient okay so here we go um, messed up on my calculations here this one's a little, these are a little closer together than these but um, it's not too bad and no one's ever gonna see it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a piece of plywood on top and uh, it should be 74 by 38 and I'll double check that measurement and make sure but uh, it should be 74 <clears throat> lengthwise by 38 wide and that's going to be the, the platform that the bed sits on all right so now what we need to do is we need to to put another couple of uh, supports in here <clears throat> and they're going to be 18 inches uh, tall and we're going to put them we're going to put two pieces on each side and those will basically be um, to, to divide this into three kind of cubby holes for uh, for bins for storage purposes. Okay, so now we've got these uh, other supports in. Uh, they're going to support the, the weight of the bed, but also they're going to be what the trim um, around the cubby holes gets attached to. So we've got that on both sides. And uh, now I'm going to cut that last piece of of plywood for the top uh, to support the bed. Okay, so here we've got this piece cut, and once again, we're gonna wanna use a countersink uh, drill bit to, um, to drill this in around the edges uh, so that we can come back in and use some wood filler, sand over it, and then be able to paint or stain this, this top. Um, 